Hey there and happy Wednesday. Um, I'm here kicking off Brenda Stuckey's virtual party card number two. I'm super excited about it. So every time Stampin' Up! retires um, some kind of nature set, I'm particularly always drawn to uh, stamp sets or bundles that have trees in them. And so for every time I'm sad, it seems like Stampin' Up! just quickly turns around and then they bring um, a something that has trees in it. So it's like for everything that goes, something good always comes. And I know I need to be patient about that sometimes and just see what they have in store um, when it comes to re the retiring list and such. So today that's kind of the theme of something disappeared that I loved. I won't even mention because there's been several tree sets, but I'm excited about uh, the beauty of the earth uh, suite of products. Hi Lois, hi Lisa, hi Ginger, and Brenda, our hostess is on too. So let me show you Brenda's card today. So it almost kind of has a little bit of a fall feel to it because of the gorgeous designer series paper that I'm using today. Hi there, Cheryl. Hi, Carol. So um, with that, um, um, I want to kind of show too what I can do just with the paper or what you can do too um, to switch things out and that when you make cards similar to that. I've got my iPad up and running, so let me set that down and then let me move my camera angle around here so that you can kind of see the card then again um, the right way. So here it is. So um, if you are a tree lover like I am, you will love this bundle. So yeah, one of those things like I was super excited today to start working with this. So um, crafting has become great therapy for so many people, um, including me this week. So I'm glad to be as busy as I am. So don't feel like with everything going on with me. Don't feel like you're pestering at all. I absolutely love it and crave it. So here is today's card number two for Brenda Stuckey, my virtual hostess. So where you will find these products, um, Beauty of Friendship, first I'll show you this. Can have my dies out so I can't flip the catalog without losing my dies. So let me show you Beauty of Friendship. Thinking of you, I believe in you, hello. Lots of great trees and even these could become bushes if you wanted to and then just like um, snip that off if you wanted. Just a little bit of a trunk showing for a bush or something for a base. Um, thank you, Friendship Refreshes the Soul. You truly inspire me. So, so many good sentiments with that so many awesome dyes. So this is the big tree dye that I'm using today. Um, I'm going to use um, these little birds. I love that two of them cut out with one pass. And then there's also a couple frames, whoops, um, frames in the set of dyes I'm going to be using this one. So even though those are the ones I'm using, what's left here is this that I'll show you the pretty paper that you can cut this out with the paper and even some of these you could either stamp or use with the paper. This is another frame for the sentiment and then just a different smaller tree if you want to do something like that. So like I said, those are the beautiful tree dies. So you can buy um, this as a you know separate purchase for different things um, like always or if you are into bundling things for savings, I'm always about saving. Um, it's in the annual catalog, the new one that just started yesterday that looks like that on the front cover. And then if you flip to pages 10 and 11, then you'll see like the whole suite. If you get the suite, um, today I would have loved to have used the bark embossing folder because that would have been um, a really fun addition and I would have used it for this early espresso layer here. Um, but that comes with the suite as well as the bundle of dies and stamp set and the paper. So um, if you think, yeah, I just want it all, then it's easiest to just use the one code and then you get it all. Um, but if you're like, no, I think I'll start with a paper or this or that, then all the separate codes are on there as well. I should see if there's anything on the next page. Nope. Sometimes they do even more ideas and such. So that's on pages 10 and 11 of the annual catalog. So let me put my dies over here so I don't lose those because that would be really sad. Now let me show you the pretty paper quick. Just um, sometimes I go in depth with the paper, sometimes not, but oh, love this stuff. So here is um, today's card is from this. And so kind of the trees are up and down. Oh, here we go, Belle. <laughs> okay, this is what the 12 by 12 looks like of the trees. So I cut it five inches and then the little um, pass I 
did for the width is three inches because I knew I wanted to make several cards of this. And so if I cut it in three versus my usual kind of four inch or even 3.75 or something, I knew I could get four cards on each side for a total of eight cards out of each sheet doing it that way. So that's kind of why. Um, and I think it's kind of a, a neat look too. And you could also just mat this um, perfectly instead of offsetting it with one of the coordinating colors and kind of centered it on your card if you wanted to. So there's that. Um, and then the back side is so fun that way too. So those of you that like to scrapbook and do a lot of vacation in nature, I think this would just, that's what I first thought of or like I said those dies that just cut out like the tree um, branches not tree branches but the foliage the leaves and um, if you wanted to use that to cut out of this that would be great too and then um, I was torn today because I kind of wanted to use just a tree line for the bottom of the card too and I thought that would be great and then more of kind of that greenery which I think a lot of these backgrounds are going to be perfect for cutting out some of the tree things so I can't wait to use this in fall and then even this is going to be fun for fall to cut out some uh, leaves out of that and then we've got some of this that's foliage and how beautiful is this for a winter scene again love that and then we've got more of this kind of foliage and then more of just a solid blue kind of almost like a cloud look or a winter scene and the last one is truly gorgeous too so this would be a great one to cut out some of those um greenery leaves and such to put on your tree and then a fun like tree bark tree trunk look there too so that's 12 by 12 all of those um and it's called beauty of the earth designer series paper so like i said i just cut my little piece um here five inches by three to get eight um eight card fronts kind of out of that. And here is my color combination today. Lots of stuff. Hi there, Julie. So I've got some crumb cake, some cherry cobbler, some night of navy. And then you can kind of see, oh, that's why it all kind of goes with this um, pretty paper. Hi there, Pam. Good to see you on here. And then I'm just pulling in some white for the inside of the card too. So um, at first I thought um, a lot of this was just going to be die cutting, not a lot of stamping. And then I decided to add a little bit more stamping to the inside than I did the outside. <laughs> so let me start with um, just running this tree die through um, my cut and emboss machine here. So I'm just going to kind of put that on there. It's a nice size tree. I kind of like the size where it makes a statement but not so huge that you don't know what to do with it. So that I'm putting on cherry cobbler and then the two birds here. Um, you know what? Two birds in the hand. What do they say about that? No. Um, I like that you can cut two at a time. So I think that's pretty good. Um, so I'm going to run that through and because the tree die is a little bit more intricate you know not terribly fussy um, but I kind of do then a cut back the opposite direction just to make sure that it gets a good cut so let me set to the birds aside so those came out good where's my little pick tool here oh then it just came out <laughs> and then with this Oh, there, look at that. Don't you love it when dyes just do what that just did? So here I was going to show off. You guys seriously had it lined up here. Not always do I. My little foam pad that goes with my take your pick dye brush tip and to run that over your dye to make that just make it come apart slick is so nice, but didn't even have to do that today because of that. So I will set that aside and that dye. And now I'm just going to do a little bit of stamping um, with my early espresso pad. Hi there, Donna. Good to see you on here. And when I open that up, I chose today for Brenda's card, um, Thinking of You. It just seems like a lot of you guys love the Thinking of You sentiment. And it is great because you can use it for so many different occasions. Um, so with that, let's see. I'm going to try and get off some of these scraps of 
the red from the tree that kind of stuck there. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal, but I'm just going to stick that there. And I stamped it first because this is a pretty skinny little frame that comes in the beautiful trees dies part of the bundle. So because, oh, and it wants to just hop a little bit around on there. Um, I think my thumb bumped it. Yeah, and because it's such a skinny little sentiment, I want to make sure that it fits in that skinny little frame perfect. And some of you have said, oh, you know what? I have more luck stamping after the fact so I can just run that die through and then um, stamp on there because it is a photopolymer stamp, which is nice too. Um, so if you look closely, it does cut out that uh, long skinny rectangle. Um, and it also gives you kind of like a beveled um, embossed edge on there too, which I think is a nice little extra to have. Oh, and let me show you these little birds kind of up close too, because these little birds have little see the light here um, little pieces uh, kind of cut out for where the wings would be and such so I think that makes them look extra special okay so that I'm going to set aside and then we can do some assembly with the card here I'm gonna move my ink pad so I don't accidentally get that on Brenda's pretty card uh, let's see so the card base here is cherry cobbler four and a quarter by five and a half folded this way today and I'm just going to take my um, early espresso. So kind of a different um, matting uh, dimension for this. So um, this I am doing, let's see, oops. Um, let's see, what did I cut it? Oh yeah, 3.75 this way, 3.75 by five and a quarter. So that's that measurement. Um, and like I said, if I would have had that um, bark embossing folder, you know, you get excited about making a card and go, that would be like perfect to have on there. But I think it looks kind of nice without it too. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and take my seal and just put that pretty pretty um paper and this i said was cut five by um excuse me five by three inches there so that i'm just going to kind of tuck in the corner here and then for the tree um, i'm just gonna use a couple glue dots to adhere that so let's see where my first glue dot is on my spool and i will just press down the trunk there and I want to make sure when I lift it up that when the tree goes with the glue dot it doesn't tear it and I'm just doing so like one here and one there um, and that's all I'm doing for glue dots and then I'm just going to kind of put that off a set a little bit too and it kind of leaves the branches a little loose but what I'm going to put on next um, are the birds and so the birds when I put those in my tree with glue dots that will actually help secure those tree branches a little bit more and it's kind of nice too because um, it makes the branches I always feel like look a little bit more realistic when you see kind of some motion versus just flat on your paper like so I haven't thought like that one of the birds would look nice you know on the thinking of you if I put it in a you know a different place but yet I really wanted the birds to be in the tree today and then that just picks up some of the watercolor wash look of the night of navy color that they brought in in the paper and so for this thinking of you, um, I'm just going to pull out some mini dimensionals. And because this is a little bit darker cardstock, I'm using crumb cake today, not totally dark. But for my mini dimensionals, I thought, well, let's use some darker. Uh, the black two pack is still um, in the catalog. They carried that over and I'm glad for that. So you can get regular dimensionals and mini dimensionals um, like as a combo pack um, in the black. So if you like white dimensionals, which I do use most of the time, then those you buy separately as mini dimensionals or regular dimensionals. Okay, so this I'm just going to kind of put off to the side like so, making sure that it's straight. And there too, that crumb cake just kind of 
um, pulls in some of the crumb cake from that background there. I don't want to put, you know, too much color, but with these other bolder colors, if I use cherry or early espresso or something, I felt like it would just kind of start to all um, mesh too much. And then the navy just wasn't what I was looking for either. I did think about adding some ribbon to it and, um, in the on the back side of the designer series paper it listed mossy metal which this is from the mini catalog that uh, mossy metal braided trim but there wasn't any mossy metal in this um, particular piece of designer series paper it was more for the other green mossy metal ones um, but there is quite a bit of early espresso um, that I'm using with the card but I just I thought if I put some more ribbon on here, it's just going to compete kind of with that same shape of the thinking of you. So I kind of just scratched ribbon. So for those of you that like to copy my cards and don't like ribbon, then this is the perfect card because there's no ribbon. <laughs> um, and yet I love doing different um, embellishments and such. So I'm pulling in... <clears throat> those uh, genial gems again and these are new in this new annual catalog and so they have um, the nice light green color in there probably that soft succulent and I think this is the papaya the new color and so I'm going to use the papaya and you might think okay that's kind of peachy and such will that work I love how it just really highlights um, this card and I'm so I'm pulling out like one that has a little bit more gold than it is pale there's two different sizes um, so I'm going to use two if I can chase this around with my take your pick tool and get it off there we go so I'm going to use two of the larger ones here and then just one of the smaller ones like I said, these gems have, some of them have a little bit um, more gold to them and some of them are a little bit more clear. And I always think it's um, so fun how sometimes depending on what project you're using, they will um, just be perfect if you want more gold like I did today or brown that's showing through in there um, than the clear. So that just adds a little bit of something extra without, you know, adding, especially when it's trees and such, you don't think like rhinestones and bling go too much with nature and trees so I like the effect that that is on there hey there Tori you're not supposed to be watching me on vacation <laughs> hi there Shelly thanks for joining in now for the inside I wanted to do something simple um, because this is thinking of you I'm just leaving the inside um, blank as far as sentiment goes and or any other words but how fun is this tree image that is in the stamp set here so i'm just going to ink that up in early espresso and it's just so beautiful just such a kind of just i don't know it feels like it's a peaceful tree there yes tori's in las vegas we can all be jealous because i bet the sun's shining there <laughs> and then there's just this nice little shadow um stamp too that i'm just going to put underneath that and it almost kind of just looks like a little um, watermark like so and I just love how it kind of grounds the tree for the inside thank you Nancy yeah I you can tell I had a lot of fun putting this one together because I love doing trees and nature things so I hope Brenda likes it too um, yesterday was completely opposite with purples and flowers and and that so I kind of try to um, change things up so that the hostess's cards don't all look the same <laughs> okay so there we have the inside all done up and inside the card there and there is the outside the thinking of you so there you have it so that is Brenda Stuckey's um card number two for her virtual party and here in a minute I will upload that card for you so that you'll have all the details of what I used and uh, the names of the products and such. I, I know when there's a new catalog, we all kind of have to um, backtrack and go, now I like that. Where did I find it in the catalog? What is the name of it? Oh good, and Brenda says that she loves it too, which is great because she's the hostess. So um, how you can get the cards that I'm making for Brenda's party is if you put in a minimum $25 order, then um, using her host code or if you're contacting me to 
order for Brenda's party. I can help you with that too, but just make sure that you're telling me that you want to use her code and then you'll get the cards for free if your order is minimum $25 or more. Um, and then just another highlight for some of the other um, hosts that I have going on, Lois, I already did her cards um, and so she wants to um, keep her party open till Friday. So if you're ordering through Lois Anderson's party, that code is still available till Friday. Brenda here said that she wants to open or keep hers open, excuse me, till May 26. And then as soon as I'm done demoing her cards, I'll start on Julie Hendrickson's. And then I have a mystery hostess um, who's kind of shy and I've got her code started. But if you go to the top of this page where you're watching the video, pinned to the top are all of my host names and all of their current codes. And as I add new hostesses, I add it there. And if uh, parties close out, I am always sure to, um, to take their party off of that top pinned um, post too. So if you have any questions about the new products, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be coming to you tomorrow afternoon um, with card number three for Brenda's party. It might be a little bit later. I do have to um, spend some time at a medical appointment with my son. Uh, thanks for your prayers and concerns over my dad and my son. Um, they're both coming along and just both of them will need quite a bit of time, but um, I'm glad that I have this flexibility right now in life to be with them as needed. So um, yeah, so I'll be coming to you tomorrow with card number three still, but it will be later. So if you start to look and wonder where I am, just uh, hold tight because you never know sometimes how long appointments take in that. And I might want to spend a little bit more time with him because I haven't seen him since the weekend. And so um, it's good to do that. And thank you for allowing me to do that. So we'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Until then, have fun crafting, have fun in Las Vegas, Tori, and have fun wherever you are. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.